What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Today we're going to be messing with my fiance's emotions, guys. I don't know if she's going to be sad. I don't know if she's going to be mad. I don't know if she's going to cry. I don't know if she's going to curse me out. I don't know what she's going to do. But as you guys can tell by title and thumbnail of the video, today we are going to be telling her that we are not going to be going on a honeymoon. So if you guys don't know, our wedding is in October. So if I'm not mistaken, that is about five or so, five and a half months from now, maybe a little less. So the time is ticking man like i'm starting to get a little i don't want to say nervous but i'm like really anxious i'm excited i can't wait for that day to come but yeah janice has been going crazy lately she's been doing a majority of the wedding planning she's honestly been stressed out and i think the only thing that we have to do left is book the honeymoon so we still have to talk about that and figure out where we're going all that good stuff but yeah today i thought it would be great if i tell her like yeah babe we're not going on a honeymoon i don't know how like what excuse to use i don't know if to be like oh no we can't afford it or nah it's just been too hectic i want to stay home like i don't like i don't want to go on a honeymoon like you know that kind of thing so i don't know whatever comes to the top of my head i'm just gonna go with it but right now she's upstairs she's getting ready because we were supposed to go out real quick not anything crazy we we're just gonna go grab something to eat really quick um but beforehand i told her that we should do a life update video for you guys which is obviously fake because we're doing a prank right now but yeah she thinks we're gonna be doing a life update video talking about like the wedding talking about just life in general how everything's been going so on and so forth but yeah if you guys are ready for today's video make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button comment down below team Isaiah all day every day this one this one's gonna hit this this one's gonna be crazy because I, I know Janice is looking forward to a honeymoon especially like how stressed she's been with like a majority of the wedding planning I would help more don't get me wrong guys I really would help more but I feel like a lot of guys I guess I'll speak for myself I'm, I'm clueless when it comes to wedding planning like I don't know anything so I feel like I'm not much of help you know what I mean but enough about that if you guys are ready for the prank comment down below team I say all day every day and let's get into it what's going on guys welcome back to another video if you guys are new to the channel make sure you guys hit that subscribe button today's video is gonna be getting a little juicy uh, not really juicy informative <laughs> yeah informative is informative. a good word yeah so as you guys can tell outside on thumbnail today we're gonna be giving you guys a life update because there's been a lot a lot a lot going on um first and foremost we're gonna be talking about wedding planning and i just want to yes. say babe i appreciate all the wedding planning that you've been doing i know <laughs> i haven't been much help but i feel like i'm really clueless when it comes to stuff however i will try more so if you need me for something, let me know, please. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I just want to get that out the way because I feel like I haven't been much help and I feel sorry, but I'm just like clueless when it comes to wedding stuff. <laughs> but yeah, we're just going to be talking to you guys about like just life update. What's been going on lately? What's going on with the wedding? Do you want to take it off? Like say like what you've planned already and all that good stuff? Well, I know a lot of you like really want to know what's been going on with the wedding. Um, but honestly, like I feel like you guys are under the assumption that it's been like a constant like thing where it's like steps are being taken and like you guys are missing out because i know a lot of you guys are like oh i wish we could see this i wish we could see that so honestly it's been like we do a whole bunch of things one month and then for a couple of months we just forget about it but i think now we're at the point where everything's kind of just like planned and set it's set in stone so i guess we can start off with i don't know like i don't even know where to start really do i say like when i got I my mean, dress when you just gotta tell them i guess the things that you've done mm -hmm. and then what's left to come like okay. what we still have to do okay so i got more specifically for myself because like women have to uh get more stuff obviously like i need my heels my makeup artist my Yo, all of that you know what i mean there's a lot that girls got to do versus yes. what guys have to do like guys literally just got to get a haircut that's nothing literally and then just you know go get your tux your suit whatever the case is mm -hmm. girls is like nails hair wedding dress veil wedding dress second wedding dress to party in after shoes oh, what else like you got to take care of your bridesmaids and it's like the guys that they don't have to take care of their groomsmen it's just like bro like here's the color make sure all your suits match that's it make sure y'all just show up on the day of mm -hmm. like i feel like it's so easy for the guys and so hard for the girls yeah so that's pretty much what i've been going through more so for these past like two weeks so i've been trying to lock in with a hairstylist a makeup artist for all my girls and i think the most hardest thing is figuring out a timeline that works 
without people having to wake up super early and things like that and everyone being there at the same time um so i'm finalizing on like the hair and makeup part and then i i'm looking for a hair person for myself um i'm trying to figure out what to do with my hair on the day of i have so many different ideas i know what looks right with the dress but that's something that i still haven't decided um but what i did do is i got my dress both of my dresses my first one and my second one and i was a little skeptical with my second one because it was being custom made and i didn't know like if it was gonna come in time or if it was like a scam or anything but it wasn't i finally got it after like two months um of just kind of waiting i got it i ordered it in february i just got it now so february march april so yeah um i got that what else I think um, that's really it because yeah. everything else is like catering the bartender yeah those are things um, that we don't we didn't do like we booked like a party planner we um our bachelorettes are set because our groomsmen and bridesmaids are kind of taking care of that that's another thing you guys have been asking who's our bridesmaids and groomsmen we're not gonna tell you guys obviously already know that hazel is the maid of honor yes and i'll tell you guys my best man is miguel you guys have seen him in the past videos his bestie um yeah but we're not gonna tell you who the other groomsmen and bridesmaids are you guys are just gonna have to wait for the day of the wedding video to come out and all that good stuff well no the bachelor weekend well that too i don't know if i'm gonna record mine you have to mine is gonna be if you guys want me to record it let me know and i'll record it. i'll try my best because i already know i'm gonna be too lit that weekend like i mean i don't drink so i'm not gonna be lit but oh, I'm, I'm gonna, still be, gonna record. that's all i'm gonna be doing <laughs> i know uh, you are so what what's left we have we have to book the catering yes you that's want, a big one the catering is like you wanted to book the catering we needed it no don't like tell that. them that that was a surprise okay i cut this out she wants to do the catering and she wants to do some type of like dessert. a surprise we're gonna say dessert that's it yeah just some type of dessert what else and then we still have to book our honeymoon that's another thing we haven't booked honeymoon. that yet yeah honeymoon we still haven't done that yet that's like the biggest most important part we're going on a honeymoon uh me and you baby what you talk about after, obviously <laughs> after all this money spent on the wedding you want to go on a honeymoon we are going on a honeymoon I going on, if the honeymoon is in the backyard then hell yeah we're going on a honeymoon i'm not going on a honeymoon bro we are going on a honeymoon stop babe, with me. no i'm being that serious like i'm not even trying to be funny babe like we spent mad money so far on the wedding and there's only more money to be spent now to come and then now you want to book a honeymoon that's another couple thousand dollars right there um that's a whole necessity it's not a necessity yes it no, is it's not. that's literally something that people just go on just go on a vacation they just no call it no what's no. the purpose of a honeymoon you to tell me. celebrate celebrate we could celebrate at home why, no. we, have, why we gotta go celebrate somewhere out the country or somewhere like why for what that's a waste of money Be no it's not how is that a waste of money we just did the biggest thing we could do in our lives besides having children and we're gonna go on a honeymoon babe i feel like that's just a a, a bs tactic it's for people not. to spend money like i feel like a, a honeymoon is not a necessity a wedding okay bam that was very important that's it let it be like that you guys celebrate the night of of the wedding and that's it i feel like no. there's no need to go on a honeymoon because no. when you're at a wedding you celebrate with everybody else like am i wrong like when you're all when right and then later that night we celebrate together you know eat her eat her no that's, it. Like that's not enough a honeymoon you want a lot more a honey there's, Babe, no. We a can go rounds. Bruh. <laughs> We're going on a honeymoon. I don't care Babe, what you I'm say. Babe, I'm not. Are you going to pay for it? I will if I have to. If you don't want to pay uh, for I guess it. You're going to have to pay. I'm uh, not paying for a honeymoon. Little, being a little broke boy, don't want to be paying I'm for no honeymoon. I'm not paying for no honeymoon, bro. We done. We already spent <gasps> my money. I'm not doing it. It's not a necessity. Babe. It's not needed. It's a waste of money. We I'm don't have to spend like a dumb amount of money just All right, so if you want to go on a honeymoon, you got to give me six months after the wedding. Bro, no. I gotta recuperate. I gotta stack my paper up again. I, got, I mean, no. I know that there's some people out there that, like, they wait a year for their honeymoon, but I just, like, feel people like... People wait a year? The, yeah, there's a lot you of people... You might as well just not go. That's what I'm saying. Like, That's I don't a know. vacation. That's not a honeymoon. I understand that everybody's finances are, like... Like, some people want to splurge on their honeymoon, and they want to, like, wait. And then sometimes there's things, like, I know I, when year, I was... Though? yeah. A year? Yeah, like, because there's wedding? places that be closed and stuff like that, and they're not available until a year oh. after. Like, all the bungalows, because I've been looking, babe. I really You're have. You're looking for no reason. We're not going No, bro, I've, I've literally been looking for months We're for not the perfect going place honeymoon. to go. We're not going on Yes, we are. Going, then you're going by yourself. I'm not going on honeymoon. I'm not spending money. I'm not. I'm but not you're doing, doing too much. Like I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm dead serious. I'm not doing it. That is mad money. We already spent mad money. I'm not gonna continue to spend. I money. would have much how they no, spent. Bro. I then would, you would have kids. You gotta save money for kids. You know how much kids are. I heard kids are expensive. Bro, not everything's about money. 
I'm just saying, like you're you're the one who always talks about you want to be like secured in life and make sure you okay, have you safety. Act net. like Bam, us right? going on a honeymoon is gonna break the bank. We can literally go on a honeymoon for that's like that's money that can go to our kids. That's money that could to, that that's money that can go into our kids like nursery, like remodeling. Bro, like we don't even have kids yet. Why are you worrying about that right we're now? We're planning it. You said you want to get pregnant after the wedding. That's I what wanted I'm to get about. pregnant at the honeymoon. That's I'm, what I wanted. So we're we not going on honeymoon pregnant, then. No, we could get pregnant on the night of the wedding. Bro, no. The honeymoon. Then There's you're going no by yourself. I'm not going on honeymoon. I'm, I'm telling you right now. I'm telling everybody right now. I'm telling you guys specifically. I'm not going on honeymoon after the wedding. I'm not doing it. I'm not spending that money. I'm not wasting my time. It's it's Bro, BS. You're being There's so no need annoying. For it. Yeah, I, I guess I'm annoying. I don't know what to tell you. You're making me feel bad for like wanting a honeymoon. Like it's not. You should feel bad. It's Why? a waste of money. It's a waste of money. You're gonna be locked into the system like everybody else. That they just fall into the trap. Like oh, we have to go on a honeymoon. Bro, that's another BS tactic okay. to spend okay, money. Okay, so then having a big wedding. I got is a, a waste conspiracy of money. theory. Having a big wedding. Is a waste of money, in my opinion, but we're not, still doing no, it. I'm not can't well, we can't cancel the wedding. We already we already spent money, we already exactly. Booked, so, so we're having the wedding no matter what. Because I was okay with just going somewhere to a foreign country and saying our I do's, but you wanted a whole party, oh, so oh. you're the one who wants to spend all the money, not me. Okay, and now we have and now I'm gonna get what I want. I want a honeymoon, and that's it. See, now we have talks of a honeymoon, which is completely BS because it's not necessary. It is necessary. Do you guys think a honeymoon is necessary? Please comment down below because to me, it's just a BS tactic Bro, to spend money. Oh my god. It's just a BS tactic to spend money. That's is anything necessary? Is anything necessary? Is this car necessary? Is us having a big house necessary? Is us having two cars necessary? Huh? Is this car necessary? The amount of money he Oh my god. Yes, it is necessary. No, it's not. The amount of money he spent on this car, y'all want to know? And it, this is necessary, but us going on honeymoon is not. Prioritize your relationship. Thank you very much. Don't play with me. Prioritize your wife. Celebrate putting a ring on it. How about that? <laughs> she said, is this car necessary? Bro? Is it? This car is very necessary. No, it's not. Because we could just happen to ride a little mini It's a joke. It's a joke, babe. It's a joke. We're going to go on a honeymoon. Look at the baby ducks. Ah! Yo, get the camera. Show them. Show them. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Get in my garage. Get in my garage. Oh, my God. Wait. I'm scared. Okay. So, now that we're done with all that, we got it handled. All the ducks are out of the garage. Oh, my gosh. That's close. I still can't believe that happened. But Me either. Whatever. They literally just ran up in here and then started going crazy. We got them all out, though. So, they're <sighs> fine. They're good now. Um, but, yeah. As I was saying... I was joking. No, you weren't. No, I was joking. I made a whole intro and everything before you got in the car. Bro, so this is a prank? Yeah. You're annoying. So wait, we do have to, for real though, we have to plan a honeymoon. Right, yes, babe, we have to plan a honeymoon, yes. Okay. Yes, we are going on a honeymoon. We have, well, I was gonna say, cause we've discussed like honeymoon locations before um, and we have an idea. So you try to book tonight or what? Sure, babe, we can book the honeymoon tonight, sure. Yeah. But you have to say Team Isaac, cause if not, I'm not booking anything. No. I guess we're not booking I can book anything. it myself. Then you're going by yourself. While you're sleeping, I'll grab your card. That is just scamish. <laughs> that is scamish of you. Anyway, okay, whatever. That was a turn of events to end the video. <laughs> so, if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. Comment down below, Team Isaiah, all day, every day. Back again with another banger. Hashtag ducks. Hashtag quack. Hashtag quack. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys, with all that being said, we'll see you on the next video.